Hey guys, it's Shigan Loader XO here and welcome back to another tutorial. This was a tutorial highly requested by my amazing subscribers and they wanted to know how to download and install Sims for The Sims 2. Um, so these Sims could be found on Mother Sims, you know, The Sims resource and all that kind of stuff. So let's get started. Before you download your custom content Sims, you will need to install WinRA and this extracts your Sims out of the file that it was packaged in for download. Next you find the Sims that you want to download and today I'm using Mod The Sims because I really trust this site and it has never failed me in everything I've managed to download from this site. So I'm gonna look for the Sims I, w the Sim I want to download um i want to download her so i'm gonna click on her and here it is all this is quite recent it was up it was posted in may so that's cool um here's pictures of what she looks like so that you know what you're getting in, in the package so she's quite okay yeah she looks pretty cool yeah i think she looks pretty cool i like her Yep, she looks really cool. And you read, you can read the info box about her history, but I tend not to because I just don't. And then at the bottom here, it shows it has details about what, um, how she was packaged and what, uh, what she comes with and all that kind of stuff and also it shows what custom con content are included with the file and with the sim so it's all here and it's all included in the download next you would then scroll back up to the page and then click on files and then this will show you what expansion or stuff pack are needed for the sim and this is only the base game so everyone wins really and you know it shows what size the download is so make sure you have enough space in your computer and it says nothing about any like other custom content that's not already listed that is needed or any meshes or anything like that so it's all good so then you click to download the file and it's downloading here at the bottom they just wait for it to finish next you would then uh, click on the little arrow thing and it says show it in folder. This is the fastest way I can show you to find where it is. So you click on that. And then it should open up your computer's downloads folder. And here is the download. Then you right click on your mouse. It should say extract to whatever the file is called. This will extract it to a folder. And this is why you need WinRAR because you need it to extract it. If you're on Mac, you need something called stuff it. So you click on that and the folder is over here next you then double click on the folder and it should have a sims 2 package file like this then you double click on the package file a little message asking you if you want to allow this application to continue on your computer should come up on your screen mine didn't come up in the recording but it came up so when it comes up you click yes if something like this appears on your screen, you then read through all the details and all of that shown on the screen and then you press install. I have to screenshot this because it didn't appear in the recording, so that really sucked. Once you've pressed install, this should appear in your screen stating that the custom content was successfully installed and I don't know how it would happen when it says it hasn't been unsuccessful probably done something wrong I, I have no idea because it's never gone wrong for me and now I'm going to show you how it is in the game if something like this appears on your screen then you click enable custom content because if you disable any custom content you will not be able to see it and I don't know if this applies to sims but it may but I don't know but I just don't disable anything because I do want to see my custom content that I've installed in the game so you do that and then you press OK for your pre-made sim to appear in the game you need to open up your creator sim and once you've done that you go on uh, creator sim up here click on that and then you just wait for it okay now that your your sim to create is, has appeared Make, make sure it's the same gender as the sim you downloaded 
so you click mine was female so I click female and it appears here and then you click on choose existing sim like so and then this is all the sims are in the sim bin so all these here are already in the sim bin these are all the, all the ones that I created the, the ones with the flowers on top of them uh, then you click this is one I downloaded so then you click on her and then you click accept and she's ready to go and here she is um, you can name her whatever you want it's up to you and you can make her fat if you want as well it's li literally up to you and your sim is there you can you know change whatever you need to your faces your hair oh gosh she looks atrocious <laughs> and just yeah you can do whatever you want with your sim now it's in the game you can literally do what you want yeah so and you can set the aspiration if you want so it's up to you what you want to do with the sim that you've downloaded and yeah the rest is up to you so have fun i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope it was easy for you to follow and i try to make it as detailed as i can but also as easy as i can as well if you want to see more videos like this then subscribe to my channel i upload videos every day and give this video a thumbs up if it worked for you if you have any issues or anything like that then feel free to leave a comment below i'll reply back quickly so that i can help you with whatever you need and yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow have a nice day bye